Brenton, try to take a picture. Yeah. Holy sh! So it's super early in the morning. We're about to go to Peacock Flats for off-roading. And we're just gonna open up these packages really quick with all the stuff from Smith and Rogue. Yeah, dude. Oh, it is a big hatchet. This is a big hatchet, dude. This is Here you go, Joseph. Yeah. All right, so we got this this jacket. This is the ramble on. All right, so this has to be the other sleeping bag. We got what is this? Oh, this is the this is the tent. Oh, this is sick, dude. Imagine they put your your Jeep on a mug. That'd be sick. <laughs> Trekking pole. Holy, oh, added two of these hats, dude. Gee. Oh, dude, they're tin. That's sick, dude. That is solid, dude. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. Thank you, Smith and Rogue. Here's the clips now. I've had this Jeep for a while. Just me, five years, probably in, in April or May. This is my pride and joy, honestly. I've done so much to this thing. My whole job revolves around doing this stuff, so that helps out a lot too, but to still kind of have a creative outlet in what I do for a living is pretty cool, so that always ended up being my Jeep. On the driver, yep, keep coming. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna scrape super hard on that rock right behind you. Yeah, the one Joseph's on. Oh, they're rolling. I didn't have any high expectation of doing like really gnarly stuff. It was just more of having friends experience outdoors up in Peacocks. Nervous. This is pretty much the main obstacle on Initiator, one of the harder trails up here at Peacock Flats, and we're gonna give it the good old college try. Let's see what happens. Yeah, just like that. Slowly now, just slowly. Reverse like that. I don't. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be pretty balanced. If you want to try it, then you can try it. Um, turn passenger again. You're gonna, you're gonna scratch. You're gonna, you're gonna gouge your rim, your passenger rim. It, it's riding. That's supposed to be straight as an arrow. Oh, is. There's like a like that. <laughs> nice. Brenton, try to take a picture. Yeah. Holy sh! Damn, we're we're done. Damn. This run, this street isn't worst case scenario, but definitely We have to get it out. Um, we gotta get the Jeep out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Very Jerry's face. Oh my gosh. What was that? Do you think I'll only make the bent bar worse, or do you think other things will break? I think other things will break slowly. Yeah, frick. We're gonna have to try and fix it here. Yeah, that's about right. How did that happen? What what move did you make that did that happen? Long story short, dude, so that, that gray rod with the yeah. hydraulic lines going into it, that's a hydraulic ram assist. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's way too strong for the kind of steering that's on my Jeep. Oh, yeah. oh you, got, you got service? No, I should get cut out. What's that again? What happened? My ram assist pushed a bend into my tie rod end. Hello? Yeah, 
and try to bend it. Okay, I mean, I guess we can go back up and try and take it off and bend it, but the frick, if it snaps, then we're worse off than we were. I haven't, I haven't used a winch before, but uh, yeah. good to learn, though. Let's we'll stick them through. After further consideration, we thought we were going to be able to pull the winch out and kind of MacGyver some sort of pulley system to try and bend it back into place. That didn't work out because I have my power steering cooler right there. Um, didn't want to smash that up. So we actually were able to adjust the wheels to a decent spot. Um, we're going to try and jack it up, get the tie rod off. I don't know, maybe if we're lucky, find a couple, a couple of us in a rock and kind of seesaw action, try and bend it back into place. If not, we're going to have to go try and get another tie rod from our shop. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. Sockets and stuff? Yeah, it's all in my, okay, my tool roll. That's loose, that's loose. Probably only took like a few tons of force to bend that thing in the first place, so let's get to it. Ah. That's a one ton <laughs> ram, so. Oh, Are you serious? 2,000 pounds, yeah. Hell no! Push him, dog! Look, we are not fing bending this. <laughs> not with no, that attitude, Brunson. Come, come here, come here. I can feel it kind of. There's no oh, way you guys oh, are going to bend it, though. This is, I'm not, I don't know. <gasps> this is, this is literally like steel. Yeah, the cooler. Now that it's off, what are we doing? Cooler. Like, we better just. Yeah, we're just wasting time. Try to right, boil it. So we're just, we're going to stay here, wait for you guys. Someone's, yeah, kind of hold tight for now. <laughs> we are the crew that stayed behind to stay with the Jeep, make sure nothing happens to it and whatnot. Maybe I should go run in and grab food. Oh, yeah. Animal fries even sounds good right now. I don't even Ooh. like animal fries. Okay. We don't have really any water, food, or anything. It's been quite some time. It's like 2. We haven't eaten since 5 a.m. And we're all pretty hungry, pretty sad. <laughs> no. No, not that sad. Well, I got three pieces of bubble gum right here. Nobody cares about bubble gum, you monkey. I'm not going to eat that. Oh, yeah? All right, fine. I guess I got three people right here. Bro, that is <laughs> filling me up right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Slowly forward. Nah, yeah. Oh, bro, I didn't win already. The thing's definitely falling if this opens by itself. Whoa. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, here's the thing, ready? Oh. We're in there, we're in there. Close it, close it, bitch, close it. This is the part I... Okay. Did you, in? Did you hear off? that? <laughs> but I'll tell you, dude, I cannot believe we got that door open oh, just now. I think there's more. Dude, this is the grossest thing I've ever put in my body. Can we, I please You got to try it, Cody. Dude, I think they died. Uh, we've been bowling. We've been playing golf. Oh! Um, I think maybe in a few, maybe we can have like town meeting or something. Just talk about like, you know, stuff that we want to happen and change around the... Oh, that's them, dude! Oh my God. Hey, watch out for the bowling alley and the golf course. Yeah, boy! Yeah, this stuff has always really appealed to me. I think it's part of the reason why I think I gelled so well with the, the friend group we kind of ended up with, because they kind of like pushing the adventurous limits of themselves, and I like to have projects and push my projects to their limits, and obviously I pushed that too far today. Oh, there you go. That's all part of the adventure and all kind of part of, you know, what I love doing out here. It's really to try and get to that next level and try and find the limit and figure out the way I got to push past it next time. So, say mission accomplished today, I found our limits. Um, we're going to go back to the drawing board, fix it up, and we'll definitely be back here and uh, definitely conquer Initiator next time.